I just don't know what to say to him. Just be up front with him. Yeah, but I feel like that would push him away. Yeah, but if you don't tell him, then he's just gonna wanna use you and then just move on to the next dude. I know, I'm afraid of that too. I seriously hate this shit. Yes, I feel you, but you know what they say, you gotta play the game. Uh, how was your audition? Shit. Aw, oh, I'm sorry. It's all good. Maybe one day a top exec would think I'm hot, and then I can play the game too. Ooh. He says I should come to the party. It's invite only. Ooh, but he said I should come alone. I'm sorry. It's all good. Be safe. Yes, Mom, I know. I'm gonna call her tomorrow and see what she needs. Yes, you said that already. No, I won't forget. Yes, Mom, I've heard. No, I'm just stressed out, Mom. I don't know, I just feel like I'm drowning in empty space. Maybe I should just come home. Yeah, you're right. No one would want that. I don't like to think about those things, Mom. <laughs> but, well, yeah, hopefully someone will give enough of a shit to put me in something. You gonna keep praying? Alright, please do. I know, I know, I know God will do it. You know? I'm not doubting you, Mom. Okay, I love you. Bye. Her. I know, that was totally Amy Shimano. Okay, I mean, yes, but I'm not arguing. I just didn't recognize her in that costume. Everyone was there. Yeah, these are the type of parties I want to keep going to. Me too, but like, what was up with Adam? Yeah, it was so weird. He didn't talk to me all night. But he invited you though, right? Yeah, like I just don't get it. Whatever, it's cool. We're gonna do our own thing, then become successful. Then they're all gonna want to be our friend. <laughs> yeah, I know. Ooh, also, I have an idea for our next video. Oh, do tell. Well, aren't you excited? Of course. I love working with you. Plus, with your following and mine, we could seriously get another viral hit. Mm. Cheers. So, what's your next genius idea? Well, I was thinking... Because we both like to do hip hop. Maybe you would like to. What are you doing? What do you mean? Oh, I just. I thought you were. What? Um. Um. Uh, you know, I gotta meet my manager first thing in the morning, so I gotta go. Bye. I don't understand why you won't come. Thing is, what's there to understand? Drugs, small Hollywood kids, and snort nosed actors I have no interest in hanging out with. That's exactly the reason I want you there. I can't go there alone. Sorry, Dave, you're on your own. Dude, you suck. What are you gonna do the rest of the day? Eat. Sulk about how you're not working as an actor? Don't say I didn't try to invite you out to network. Whatever, dude, I'm not going. And plus, I've been running with Jeff anyway. You know what? Fuck you. Dude, if you didn't care about your hair so much, maybe people wouldn't think you were gay. First off, I'm bi. And you already know how it is, I have to keep it low key. Really? Why? Because of my career. That's why. Dude, you gotta live your life. You don't, you don't, you don't wanna be like those other celebs who, who, who are hiding. Like that superhero dude! <laughs> yeah, he who shall not be named. Exactly. You wanna be like that? Some, some shitty actor whose only claim to fame is his good looks and that he isn't gay. Dude. It's hard, man. I'm not going out as much as I should, and I really think my manager's gonna drop me soon. I way of thinking, is he gonna help you? Yeah, you're one to talk. Oh my god, touche. Dude, you know you're like one of the only real people, if not the only real person I have in this town. 
And you're the only friend that I have. I know it's getting much cheaper, so we're even. <laughs> I'm uh, gonna go for a walk. Sounds good. Oh man, you're a beast, man. I gotta stay woke and all you mofos. <laughs> Here we go again, thinking you're the shit, but you ain't shit though. Whatever, dude. Whatever. <laughs> man, oh, thanks. Dude, I'm glad you came out to hike. Seriously. You know, I gotta get you out of this apartment once in a while, you know? <laughs> Check this out, man. I got this funny idea for a new video. And I think oh, you're gonna like it. I'm not interested in that shit, man. Dude, that's the game now. Plus you look like, you know, you could... I look like what? Dude, <laughs> I'm just saying that... Dude, I'm just saying that you're not the serious actor when you look like The Rock. But, I mean, no one's gonna take you seriously, but at the same time, I mean, th there's nothing wrong with that. I mean, you can go, I mean, you should. You should. I should, should what? Dude, you know what I'm gonna say. No, Jeff, I don't know what you're going to say. Yeah. Listen, man, I, I don't wanna do this right now. I, I'm just giving my opinion. You can take it or leave it. I've heard your opinion, and I thank you so very much for it. Dude, this is why you're never gonna find work. You think you're so much better. But the fact is, you look like you should be on American Pie. Not House of Cards, not Game of Thrones. And I mean, there's nothing wrong with that, man. You know, I'm fine with it. You should be fine with it too. But maybe, just maybe, it wouldn't hurt for you to accept it, bro. I'm just saying. Listen, um, I'm gonna go. Think about it. I'll see you later, bro. <sighs> Thanks for helping me move. For sure, and thank you for dinner, it was great. <laughs> no problem, it's the least I could do. <laughs> oh, totally forgot. Didn't leave food for the cat. <laughs> Guess I was wrong. <laughs> Bowl was filled to the brim. <laughs> <laughs> So let me ask you something. After you and your friends helped me move, I invited you back for dinner, but I didn't think you'd come. Why did you? Well, you seem like a nice guy and... Okay. You have all of this great advice and I'm willing to learn everything I can about the business. That is a good attitude. <laughs> you know, when I saw you and your friends, <clears throat> I realized they'd never make it. Oh, they'll book a few things here or there, but they'll never hear. I've seen a lot of actors come and go. They try and they try and they end up just going home. Yeah, that sucks. Yeah, it does. When I first saw you, though, I knew there was something there. Oh, now at first I was dismissive of you. I admit it. I thought you were just a punk with an ego. <laughs> <laughs> but on halfway through, I realized you were really smart. Really? Yeah, absolutely. <clears throat> you know, there was this actress I knew a while ago. I'd seen her work. She was marvelous, incredibly talented. She had come to me to ask me advice about a career, just like you have. She had this manager who wanted to represent her. Ooh, he was big time. And he also wanted a relationship. Oh. She asked me what to do, and I said, that decision is up to you. If you think it's worth it to advance your career, then absolutely go for it but it's something you have to decide to do. Well, she ended up not doing it. 
I remember her saying she was going to stick with her agency because they had been really nice to her. <laughs> so what ended up happening to her? Well, she went back home. She decided Hollywood wasn't for her. She'd rather do community theater. Wow. Yeah. Oh, and, and then there was this guy. He was the son of one of my mom's friends. He was being pursued by a top-notch agent. Well, he asked me the same question. I gave him the same answer. Six months later, I saw him at a screening. I see him. I asked him, how you doing? He said he had booked a small part in the movie we were watching. Long story short, he's now one of the biggest stars in Hollywood. Oh my God, mm -hmm. who is it? <laughs> I can't tell you that. <laughs> I really want to know. Uh, basically, this is a difficult business. Yeah, I know. I don't know what to do sometimes. I really want my story to end up like that guy's and not that girl's. Well, so do I. I think you're great. And I want us to work together as a team. I'm not like all those other agents and directors. I believe in a friendship and a relationship where we're equal, where we're both helping each other. Yeah, that's exactly what I'm looking for too. And I don't want you to do anything you don't want to do. You understand me? Totally. And I'm open-minded. I feel like you have to try things and see if it works. Exactly. Would you care for a drink? Yeah, of course. <laughs> There you go, buddy. Thanks. <laughs> Excuse this, uh, China hasn't been unpacked yet. <laughs> <laughs> Cheers. <laughs> mm. <laughs> okay, <clears throat> so let's talk about your reel. Is it good? Parts are. Oh. The ending and the beginning. The middle <laughs> needs a little work. <laughs> Actually, I was looking for you to see if you've heard from Dave. No, I haven't. He's been gone for two days, but that's normal. He's sometimes best out of your fires. Oh, I see. Uh, has he mentioned anything about Adam? No, should he have? No, not really. I just thought he would have said something. We were supposed to come up with a new idea for the video, but didn't hear anything, so yeah. that was kind of disappointing. I'm sure he'll be fine. He'll turn up. Is there anything else? I really gotta make this important phone call. Oh, yeah, of course. I actually thought that you might be at work, so I'm happy that I just caught you. You must be right about to leave. I'm not. I'm, I'm staying home today. Oh, you're off? Nope. I gotta let go. Oh. Um, so I guess I better go then. Robbie. Robbie. Have you been drinking? Where have you been, dude? I went out. You're a mess, dude. You got that email about rent. Did you pay it? I will tomorrow. How was Adams? Did you put out? You 
did. Didn't you? How did you know I was at Adams? And what are you talking about, dude? It doesn't matter how I know. Did you sell out? I can't deal with this right now, dude. You disappointed me. I thought you knew better. It's the alcohol that's talking, Robbie. You're not yourself. Don't drunks always tell the truth? You're out of your mind, dude. At least I'm not untalented and privileged. Is that what you think of me? The parties, the text messages, the crowds you hang in hell with, waiting on the next dude who's going to help you. Adam! And what about him? Is it my fault you're not where you want to be? I don't know, Robbie. Maybe you need to look in the mirror. You're lucky that I put you up. You're lucky you have a place to come back to. You're nothing without me. That's it? Fuck you. I'm out. Hi, Dave. By the time you're reading this, I'll be long gone. I apologize for all the things that I said to you. You're right, it was the hawk all talking. I guess instead of spewing all that garbage, I should have just told you that I lost my job. I wasn't able to pay for the rent this month, so we have been evicted. I've decided to go back home, probably change careers, get a real job and settle down. I realize that Hollywood isn't for me, and I know it sounds like I'm giving up, in fact, I guess I am, but I've come to realize we are not meant to be famous or superstars or even actors at all. I've realized that everything happens for a reason and if you really love something, you should pursue it, no matter what, regardless of whether you make it or not. I could have ended up being a teacher and taught acting and will still have some measure of success. I guess what I'm trying to say to you is, it's okay to let go of our ideas of what success is and live the life we truly want to live. I'm falling out of love with acting, and I am now in search of what it is I'm really supposed to be doing. I will always remember you, Dave. And I wish you all the best. And whatever you do, remember to always do what you love, no matter what.